Okay, uh, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, angle measures. All right, pretty easy assignment. There's a lot of vocabulary early on in this school year, usually in a geometry class, and so there's going to be a lot of uh, vocabulary that we're going to be talking about today. All right, and the, the big ones we're going to talk about are adjacent angles, linear pairs, vertical angles, complementary angles, right? supplementary angles and perpendicular lines all right and each one of these has some characteristics that you probably already know but we're just going to go into t uh, details of them all right so the first one is a linear pair and the big word you hear in there is the word line right so there i'm going to just draw this you don't have to draw this but if i drew a line okay and i cut it off into two angles let's call this angle a and angle b those two angles are called a linear pair because together they make a straight line okay so that this right here that I just circled is a linear pair and this one right here is not a linear pair yeah because they don't make a straight line if this if this line right here so if this green line had actually gone straight out like this it would have been a linear pair but it didn't all right so linear pairs make a straight line okay all right vertical angles angles that are vertical if you took your, um, if I was sitting in my class, we would just do this with our hands, right? But if you make an X with your with your arms or your hands, right? Can think of that like your arms. These are vertical angles, and these are vertical angles. And let me talk about something really quick. There's two ways that we say things are equal. We can show them on a picture. We can make these little uh, like arcs on them. So if you see an arc, let me do this in red so you can see it. If you see an arc. Like this that means they're equal so if I go and say this and this that means that they're equal right another way I can represent that is by putting little dash marks like this right they mean the same thing another way you can do it is this way if you have uh, two lines right crossing you can also do like a double arc so if they are both double arcs that means they're equal all right and then we got a word here a, a symbol that we've never seen before this symbol right here all right what does that symbol mean? Well, it's bringing together two um, symbols. It's bringing together the squiggly line and the equal sign, right? Well, the squiggly line is called similar, right? That's the squiggly line is called similar, and the equal sign is just equal, right? So it's similar and equal to. Okay, so that's a word, that what we do in a geometry class, we call that congruent. When I say something's congruent, I mean it's exactly the same, okay? And you'll notice what they're saying in vertical angles. Two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. Vertical angles are congruent. That is the key. They are congruent. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. Okay? So vertical angles are always congruent. That's, that's a, a fact that we use all the time in geometry class to prove things later on in the school year. Right? But remember, vertical angles are always equal, all right? All right, next thing, complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90, right? So they make a 90 degree angle is what we're saying. So angle one and angle two add up to 90 together, all right? Supplementary angles, these are ones you've probably heard before. Two supplementary angles add up to 180. Supplementary angles will sometimes be a linear pair, but supple supplementary angles don't necessarily have to be a linear pair. They can be, right? Angle three and angle four are supplementary, and they're a linear pair because they make a straight line. But if I went over here and I drew this angle, I said this angle is 30 degrees, and this angle is a, whoa, that's not a good 100. And I said over here, this angle is 150 degrees, right? These two angles would be supplementary because they add up to 180 together. So they don't have to necessarily make a line when you draw them, but they do have to add up to 180, all right? Next one is perpendicular lines, right? Let's talk about the symbol that we use for perpendicular. In a geometry class, we use this symbol for perpendicular. It's like an upside down capital T, right? That's called perpendicular. That's the symbol that we use for perpendicular. That, and perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect to make a right angle. Make four right angles, right? Every one of these is a right angle, right? Every one of these is 90. 90, 90, 90, 90, yeah? The higher and higher you get into mathematics, the more important that perpendicular angles became, uh, lines become, right? Because uh, 
when we build things, right, uh, when we want to make them sturdy so they don't fall down, we need perpendicular lines. We need right angles, all right? All right, next thing. So let's just go through these. Find the following. Two pairs of linear pairs of lines. So we need, we need to find two pairs of pairs. So we need to find two groups of angles that are a linear pair. Okay, so this is the way I normally do this, right? I just, the way I tend to do this is I just draw in a line and then I turn it into two angles. So I'm looking at this angle and this angle. They make a straight line so they're a linear pair. So I would just lightly draw my paper, draw something like that, and then I would just write them down. Oh, I guess I can't use, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can't use, you know what, let's just make an extra, let's just make a letter, letter, letter here. Let's call this Z and make our lives easier, yeah? Okay, so, so I got, a, I got a straight line and I'm gonna call it these two angles, right? This angle and this angle. So what are those angles? Remember how we name angles. We have to name them from an edge, so Z, to the vertex Y, and W. And what would be the linear pair with that? W, Y, V. Okay, so let's look at this again. Let me just show it to you, right? We have, this is X, right, or Z. So we have this angle and this angle make a straight line. So they're a linear pair. There's some other ones. I'm not gonna write them all, but we could do this one down here, right? We could say, okay, this is a straight line. And I'm gonna use uh, this angle and this angle, because they make a straight line. So what are those? Angles U, Y, T, and angle T, Y, V. And all I'm doing is those two angles right there, those two red angles. All right. Next one, adjacent angles. Okay, adjacent's easy. As long as they're next to each other, they're adjacent. So I'm gonna do this in blue, this uh, green this time, right? So two angles that are next to each other. Well, this angle is next to this angle. These two angles are adjacent, right? They're not equal, they're just adjacent. So there's one that works, right? This angle here, what is that angle? W, Y, V. And this angle here, S, Y, V. You'll notice that angles that are a linear pair or angles that are adjacent always have the same middle letter, right? Notice, they both have a Y in the middle. So that's one of the things you can check first. If they don't have the same vertex, they're not gonna be equal. All right, vertical angles. Let's talk about vertical angles now. Now, how do vertical angles get created? Be careful here. You need to find two angles. You don't, don't write this, just watch, right? You need to find two angles that are equal like this, okay? So that's what you're looking for, two angles that are like that. So what I would do is I would just take two of these lines and just draw them. So maybe this line and this line, right? All right. So those are two lines like that. So this angle and this angle are vertical angles to each other. Now, are they vertical? No, but if you turned your paper sideways, they would be vertical. So they don't have to actually be vertical. They just have to be across the lines from each other, right? So what is the name of those angles? Let's call this uh, Z, right? So this is angle Z, Y, U, and angle uh, W, Y, V. Now, are there some other ones? Yes, there are. So what could I do again? Well, I could just draw two other lines in, right? Um, I could do it this way, right? I could do it this line and this line, right? So that would make this angle and this angle vertical to each other, yeah? So let's call that a Z again. So what would those angles be? That would be, if I wanted to do another one, it'd be X, Y, V, and Z, Y, T. And remember, vertical angles are equal, all right? Complementary angles. Complementary angles add up to 90. They make a right angle. Well, the easiest way to do that is just to find a right angle. Oh, here's one right here. There's a right angle. How do I know? Because that little box is there, all right? So what are the two angles? The two angles are right here. So that would be my two angles. So angle X, Y, V, and angle W, Y, V. Is there another one? Sure, it's over here, right? It's right here. There's a right angle here too, right? So 
this angle and this angle. You could name those. I'm not going to go through them all, but you could have named that one also. All right, next one. Supplementary angles. Supplementary angles make a straight line. So the easiest way to do this is just to draw a straight line in. There's a straight line. And then just pick two pieces um, that, add, that uh, make that piece up. You know what? Let's do a different one than that. Let's do this one over here. So there's a line here, right? Let's do this line right here. There's a line here. So this angle, and I'm going to do the other one in red, and this angle add up, make a straight line. So they're supplementary angles, right? They, they make a straight line, so they add up to 180. They're also a linear pair, okay? But they are supplementary angles. So what are those two angles? Uh, what did I call this? Z, right? So angle uh, ZYX and angle Z, Y, X, and Z, Y, T. Right? That's one. Could I name another one? Sure. All I have to do is draw a straight line. So I'm going to draw a straight line right here. And I'm going to say this angle and this angle, right? So what is that? Angle U, Y, T, and angle T, Y, W. Next one, find two pairs of perpendicular lines. We're only going to find one pair, but perpendicular lines, remember, they have to make that T with a right angle. So just find one. Oh, like this, ang this line and this line, right? Those make a perpendicular. So what are the name of those lines? Uh, line XT, make sure you use the correct symbol for line, right? Line XT and line, uh, what is that? and line Z, V, right? Those two lines, if I drew them in, notice X, T is here, and um, Z, V is here, right? Right here, and there's a right angle there, so I know those are perpendicular. Okay, so there's, a, there's some terminology there. Be careful, sometimes they're gonna say two pairs. That means you have to have two groups of them, right? I didn't do that for every problem, but that's the idea, all right. Next question, find X and Y so that PR and SQ are perpendicular. Okay, so what are they saying? They're saying that they're perpendicular to each other. So we're saying that PR and SQ are perpendicular. So that means that there's a bunch of right angles here, right? That's what perpendicular means. Those are all 90s, okay. Uh, okay, so we got that. And this is just some extra information. You could actually, I was reading that. That's why I had a dramatic pause there. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Find X and find Y. Okay, the first thing I would do is, since I know, I'm going to draw this in green. Since I know this angle right here is 90, right? It's, it's, a, it's a 90 degree angle. Then I know that those two angles here, right? These, the two angles here, right? This angle and this angle add up to 90, right? So I know that 2x plus 5x plus 6 must make a 90 degree angle. So there we go. So what do we get? We get 7x plus 6 equals 90. So we get 7x equals 84. And we get x equals 12. Okay, cool. We can also solve for y, right? I'm going to erase some of this. I can also solve for y. y is over here, and we know this angle is 90. So we know that 4y minus 2 must equal 90. So we know that 4y equals 92. We know that y equals 40. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, 20. It's going to be a decimal, isn't it? I think it is going to be a decimal. Uh, 22.5, yeah? If you do the math. 22.5. All I'm doing is I'm using the information and doing a little bit of algebra. Okay, so let's look at this next one. The measure of two complementary angles. Okay, well, complementary means they add up to 90 degrees, right? Find the measures of the angles. Okay, well, then I know that this 
and this, right, the two pieces that I'm circling must add up to 90 because they're complementary. So 7x plus 17 plus 3x minus 20 must add up to, they're complementary, so they must add up to 90. So we get 10x uh, minus 3 equals 90, right? So we get 10x equals 93. I think that's right, yeah? So x is going to equal 9.3. Okay, that's not the question, right? I feel like I just did something wrong there. Let me make sure I didn't do anything wrong there. 7x plus 17, yeah? I guess not. I guess that's right. Okay, so 9.3. Now be careful. I now know what x is, but they asked me what the two angles are. So the angles are going to be 7 times 9.3 plus 17 and 3 times 9.3 minus 20, right? All right, so those are my two angles. Um, you, we, we do not have to do this, crunching this in your head. I don't mind if you use a calculator for annoying multiplication, okay? So uh, 7 times 9.3 equals plus 17 equals 82.1. So 82.1 degrees. And the other one will be uh, 3 times 9.3 minus 20. Oh, I just messed it up, didn't I? 3 times 9.3 minus 20. 7.9. And you'll notice that these two add up to 90. Well, that's a good check, right? All right. Last problem. Two lines, x and y, intersect to form adjacent angles 2 and 3. Okay? Find the values of a and b so that they're perpendicular. Okay, so basically what we're saying is make them perpendicular. Right? So make x and y perpendicular. So we have line x and line y. Right? And make them perpendicular. Okay, so this is x and this is y. Right? And the two angles are adjacent. Right? So this is angle 2 and this is angle 3, and they're adjacent. Okay, then now let's think about this. Line X and line Y are perpendicular, and angle 2 and angle 3 are next to each other. So, but what we're basically saying is that angle 2 and 3 must both be 90. Because two pieces of logic. First, they're perpendicular. And second, they're adjacent. If two lines are, if two angles are adjacent next to each other, and the two lines are perpendicular, they both must be 90. So angle 2 must equal 90, and angle 3 must also equal 90. Thus, 3a minus 27 must equal 90, and 2b plus 14 must equal 90. Yeah? So we get uh, 3a equals, uh, what is that, 90, 117. hope my math is right. So a is going to equal 39. Doing the algebra, I'm not going to go through that. You should know how to do that. Minus 14 minus 14. So 2b should equal 45 minus 7, uh, 38, I believe, right? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, 90. 76, right? So B is 35, 36, 37, I think 38. Yeah, B is 38. Alright, that's it guys. I'm going to tell you, it's not a hard assignment. I, I would really tell you that this piece right here is the key. Right there is the key. Know those words, know what they stand for, because we're going to apply them a lot. If you need any help with that, let, let me know. You know, um, Get in contact with me and I'll be more than happy to help you through these. All right, good luck.